so hi friends in this lecture we will study about find out the solution of a linear differential equation so generally solution of linear differential equation is y equal to cf plus pi already we have studied about how to find out complementary function so in this lecture we will study so how to find out pi so generally so general form of linear differential equation f of d of y equal to p of x so in this one upon f of d is inverse operator of f of d if y equal to one upon f of d into p of x satisfies the given linear differential equation then it is says particular integral so in this lecture we will study about how to find out pi in general method so for this we have to remember this formulas so generally d means what so d is the differential operator which is equal to d by dx so now 1 upon d means it is integration 1 upon d of some function of x q of x equal to integral q of x dx 1 upon d minus a q of x equal to e raised to ax into integral e raised to minus ax q of x dx q of x means this rhs 1 upon d plus a q of x equal to e raised to minus ax integral e raised to x q of x dx when our here minus is there here plus this is minus here plus means this is minus and this is plus now solve d square plus 3d plus 2 of y equal to sin e raised to x so first of all we have to write the auxiliary equation ae so that is we are equating this f of d f of d is d square plus 3d plus 2 we are equating this f of d to 0 so d square plus 3d plus 2 equal to 0 we are using the quadratic roots of find the quadratic equation minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so minus 3 plus r minus root of b square 3 square that is 9 minus 4 a values 1 c values 2 so 4 into 1 into 2 that is 8 So nine minus eight, that is one. Root one is one. Minus three plus r minus one by two means one. So you have to add one. Three plus one upon two. Three minus three, sorry, minus one upon two. So minus three plus one is minus two. Minus two upon two is minus one. Similarly, minus three minus one is minus four. Minus four upon two is minus two. So these roots are real and unequal roots. So in case of real and unequal roots, what is the if m one m two are the roots c one e raised to m one x plus c two e raised to m two x. So in this case, c one e raised to minus x plus c two e raised to minus two x. Now find p i. So p i equal to one upon f of d. f of d is d square plus 3d plus 2 into sin e raised to x now you are using this formula 1 upon d plus a q of x equal to e raised to minus ax integral e raised to x q of x dx so a value is 1 so that means e raised to minus x integral e raised to x into q of x q of x is sin of e raised to x so how to find out the integration of this by using the substitution method you are simplifying this so for this put e raised to x equal to t so find the derivative of e raised to x e raised to x derivative is e raised to x into dx equal to dt now we are replacing this e raised to x dx equal to dt and this e raised to x equal to t so therefore sin e raised to x is t and e raised to x dx equal to dt so this is integral sin t dt what is the integral of sin t integral of sin t is minus cos t again we are replacing this t with t with, what is t value t equal to e raised to x so 1 upon d plus 
e raise to minus x into minus cos of t t ins e raise to x. Again, we are using the same formula 1 upon d plus a q of x that is e raise to minus a x integral e raise to x into q of x dx. So, a value in this case a equal to 2 therefore e raise to minus 2x integral e raise to 2x into q of x. q of x means this total value not sign e of x e raise to x. So, in this case q of x is minus e raise to minus x cos e raise to x. So, so we have to take outside this minus minus right here e raise to minus 2x integral e raise to minus x cos e raise to x into e raise to 2x dx. So, you simplify these two minus x plus 2x that is x. Again, we are using the same substitution method put e raise to x equal to t. So, e raise to x equal to t means find the derivative of this e raise to x is e raise to x dx equal to dt. So, again we are replacing this. What is e raise to x? e raise to x means t e raise to x dx equal to dt. So, cos t dt. Integral of cos t is sin t. So, again replace this t with what is t? t means e raise to x. So, therefore pi equal to minus e raise to minus 2x sin e raise to x. So, therefore, general solution is y equal to cf plus pi. So, cf already you calculated that is c1 e raise to minus x plus c2 e raise to minus 2x minus e raise to pi. So, e minus 2x into sin of e raise to x. So, solve these problems.